Doctor Who, The Talons of Wang Chayan, the 17th story of the fourth Doctor, is written by Robert Holmes and starring Tom Baker and Louise Jameson. Originally, there was going to be a serial called The Foe from the Future, written by Robert Banks Stewart, but got scrapped because scripts were unable to deliver and Robert was working on Armchair Thriller. So Robert Holmes had to rework the script, but it got adapted to Big Finish Audio. The story is shot at London, with the majority in the area around Wapping, Durin, mid-December 1976, followed by three studio recording sessions. Philip Hinchcliffe were able to negotiate the swapping of one of the planned studio sessions for the use of an outside broadcast video crew, which led to the second block of location shooting in early January 1977, encompassing a week in Northampton. The majority of was spent at the Royal Theatre. This is the last story produced by Hinchcliffe. This is set in Victorian era. Lee Sin Chen finished his show with Mr. Sin, and they get praised by Henry Gordon Jaco. A bloke, Joseph Buller, came in suspecting that Lee Sin had got something to do with his wife's disappearance. The Doctor and Leela arrives in a Victorian outfit, and Leela wasn't happy about it. The street at night looked pretty grim. So Joseph gets killed by the Sin with a knife, and a group of Chinese men were hiding the body and attacked the Doctor and Leela, but luckily a policeman arrived. One of those Chinese men were captured, and the others got away. They get taken to the station for questioning. Lee Sin arrived, secretly poisoned a Chinese man with a pill and there's a scorpion tattoo on him called Tang of the Black Scorpion. The doctor suspects that it got something to do with Wang Chiang. Meanwhile, Casey gave Henry Gordon Jacob a fright as he noticed a blood on Mr. Sin's hand. An old lady, Patsy, was freaked out to see a corpse in the river. The doctor and Leela went to meet Professor Lightfoot to examine the body. There's rat hair. The Doctor investigates the sewers and Leela tag along after saving him from a Chinese guy that tried to kill him with an axe. We get a scary cliffhanger where in the sewers the Doctor and Leela gets chased by a giant rat. And I got really excited to see the next part when I first saw that. <laughs> I was like, yes! So the Doctor and Leela got themselves out of there. After Casey left, Chang hypnotized Henry to make him forget what he has seen, like a cab driver. The way his eyes flashing looks pretty scary. So Chang speaks to his lord, Wang Chayan, who's after the time cabinet in order to repair his damaged psychology. The Doctor and Leela went in the cart with Lightfoot. And I like the bit where Leela asks Lightfoot why is he making fire in his mouth as he's smoking a pipe. And of course there's no cigarettes, cigars, pipes or tobacco in Leela's world. The doctor goes to investigate in the theatre and got Henry to remember what he's seen. And I love his magic trick as he pulled long tissue out of his pocket and a white dove in the metal pan. So they went down to the cellar. Henry fainted while the doctor went after Wang Chayan, but he got away. Meanwhile, Leela is having dinner with Lightfoot in his house. The savage's table manners are pretty atrocious the way she just eats a chicken with her hand. <laughs> Later, Lightfoot noticed that someone was watching the house, so he goes out to have a look, but something knocked him out. And we get a scary cliffhanger where Mr. Sin is carrying a knife, walking towards Leela. Professor! So she put a knife on Sin's neck and jumped out the window, while the doctor is patrolling and Chang tried to shoot him. So Chang took Mr. Sin and got away, Leela got in the cart with them, while the doctor went to see Lightfoot, which I'm glad that he's not killed off. The next day, Chang hypnotized a woman who's a waitress and brought her and a cleaner to Wang Chayan. While the doctor is on the boat with Lightfoot and a sailor, Leela fights with Wang Chayan. She turns off the machine that cleaner was in, but she was already dead. But luckily, the waitress got herself out of it. The doctor walks in the sewers, while Leela outruns a giant rat that grabs her by the leg which looks painful and pretty scary. <laughs> Tom Baker, as always, fantastic as the fourth Doctor. I like his Victorian outfit, looking like uh, Sherlock Holmes. And Louise Jameson as Leela is great as well. Really love the character. When I met Louise at the Comic Con back in 2015, she told me the only time Leela screamed was when she gets attacked by a giant rat, which is interesting. I wonder if the characters got rat phobia. Christopher Benjamin plays Henry Gordon Jaco, who owns the Palace Theatre and the New Regency Theatre in London, and Trevor Baxter plays Professor George Lightfoot, pathologist 
They both became Defender of the Earth. I really love those duo. The actors did a splendid job. John Bennett plays Luis and Chang, aka the Celestial Chang, the Master of Magic, and Mesmerism, who serves Wang Chiang. He's so good in this. I didn't know he wasn't a Chinese until my friend recently told me. Cool thing is, you can see the poster of him in the next Doctor and Lego Dimensions game. Michael Spice plays Magnus Greel. AKA Wang Chiang is the Minister of Justice for the Supreme Alliance of Eastern States from the 51st century. He did a great job playing in Mars and Angry Villain. Originally, the Master was going to be in this story, but Philip Hinchcliffe changed it as he didn't want to have the Master revealed as a secret villain again. Alan Barnes pointed out the clue of the original plan, which is the Time Cabinet. Deep Roy played Mr. Sin a Pekin homunculi who are robots of munificent army of Pekin and I thought he was terrifying. I hope we see him again. Conrad Asquith played Percival Quick, a policeman. He's great as well. Flaminia Sink plays Patsy, who's a mudlock who hovers on the margins of the many of the Doctor's adventures and Jago and Lightfoot's investigations in audio and novels. Her acting is fantastic. There's fantastic casting here. The music by Dudley Simpson is well done, it gives me the chills. And so is the direction by David Maloney. Luckily the Doctor shot a giant rat with an elephant gun and Leela felt she deserved it because she failed to kill Wang Chia. So they left and returned to Lightfoot so Leela can go get changed. While the Doctor is still figuring out how to open the cabinet, the Doctor and Leela went to the theatre watching Chang's magic tricks on stage after the woman got audience to sing Daisy with her. She's a great singer, I must admit. While Chinese men killed a policeman and Mr. Sin is inside Lightfoot's house, so the doctor went inside a cupboard for magic trick. And it's so funny the way he just walks out. Wang Chian killed Casey and placed him in the cupboard, which is scary. So the doctor and Leela confronts Chang. He's failed, his lord hates him as Henry walks in. Chang went in the sewers to get himself attacked by a giant rat. Wang Chiang and Mr. Sin are laughing as they took the cabinet from Lightfoot. Uh-oh. The Doctor and Leela went to see if Lightfoot was okay, while Wang Chian was mad at that none of the Chinese men have brought the keys. So he got Lee to swallow a pill, tongue of the black scorpion, and dies. Henry Gordon Jaco visited Lightfoot, left a bag of stuff, so they head off to investigate. The Doctor and Leela found Chang, who survived, is in a hideout with a missing leg and smoking opium to feel no pain, but he dies just after when he said, Beware of the eyes of the dragon and giving a clue by touching his shoe. Lightfoot and Jago were captured by Chinese men and confronted by Wang Chiang. As they follow them to headquarters, they make their escape through the dumbwaiter to find a way out so they get recaptured. The doctor and Leela went back to Lightfoot's house, picking stuff out of the bag. The bit where Wang Chiang came in attacking Leela as she rips off the mask. His face is half melted, which looks pretty gross and terrifying. So Leela gets taken away, so later the Doctor walks in to see Wang Chiang. With the deals made, they all go to the house of the dragon. Wang Chiang will release Jago and Lightfoot, then the Doctor will give him the key. Chang's shoe clue is the tongue of his shoe, the tongue. Mr. Sin secretly climbs into the head of a large dragon statue where there are laser controls in sight. The Doctor learns Wang Chiang's name is Magnus Greel. Good name, how you doing Magnus? So Jago and Lightfoot got brought to where the Doctor is and Mr. Sin who's operating Dragon's Eyes that fire lasers. The sound is pretty effective. Get down! Get down! After the Doctor wakes up, the girls are taken away to their safety. Leela has made it to the House of the Dragon, but she gets captured and put into the distillation machine which is intense, especially turning it on. I bet the day this part got released, everyone would think that Leela's gonna die, but thankfully not, as she got saved just in time. The Doctor talks Wang Chiang out of using the time cabinet, knowing it will cause a massive implosion that will kill them all. As Wang Chiang tries to kill Leela, the Doctor puts him into a distillation machine, which killed Wang Chiang. Mr. Sin jumps on Leela, but the Doctor deactivated him. Everything's okay again, and I think they do deserve muffins after the hard work. So in the end, the Doctor and Leela says goodbye to Lightfoot and Jago as they're eating muffins. Oh, I could do with some muffins. The TARDIS disappears, Lightfoot thinks it's impossible, and Jago says that maybe Luis and Cheng would have appreciated it. I really love that story, it's brilliant. Scary, it gives me the goosebumps. 
The story gave us the Big Finish audio series of Jago and Lightfoot, where they solve mysteries which involves paranormal and alien phenomena in London in Victorian era. Only one, Jago and Lightfoot. Off to you, Henry. I'm sure it'll be delightful. With help from Ellie Higson, the barmaid, and Sergeant Quigg, with Christopher Benjamin, Trevor Baxter, and Conrad Ackworth returned as Henry Gorn Jago, Professor Lightfoot, and PC Quigg. And I think it's a brilliant idea for a spin-off. Trevor Baxter is sadly no longer with us, so rest in peace. At least we got season 14 on box set as well, which I think is a great choice. What did you think of the talents of Wang Chiang and season 14? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. <laughs>